Welcome to a Market Matters update. The first one for 2015, shot from our new office in the Sydney CBD. Um, Sean, I thought I'd start with gold, given there was a, an alert today that, saying that you were selling half your Newcrest position. Um, just wanted to get an update on that. Obviously, we had Regis recently, um, and now Newcrest. Um, it's been quite a good trade. Uh, it's been a great trade, Nick. I think quite a good trade. It's not been very fair at all. It's been a fabulous trade. The ASX 200 has gone nowhere since last November, and we've pulled 40 or 50% out of those trades. So if that's a very good trade, I think we've got to take a deep breath again and go with it. Now, it's been a great trade. And in the last two years, you know, it's done the same thing for us. Newcrest has been fantastic in December as a buyer. The cyclicals have been there, the technicals have been there, and it's worked very, very well. The reason I took profit today, okay, it's easy. We've got over 80% of the profit I'm looking for coming into Newcrest result in the middle of February. Yep. Why not take half? That's all I've done. I've taken half off the table. I think we get another dollar out of it. And the dollar, it's already come $4 our way. So I don't see a problem with that. I'm very, very happy to take half profit, happy to run half. It's just common sense, money management, take a bit of cash off the table, let a bit go. Simple as that. The investor with no exposure, um, you know, you're talking about another dollar. Does he look to enter to get that dollar or is the risk reward gone? No, absolutely not. If, if, if the risk reward was there to buy more, then I'd be buying more. Yep. Definitely not. I would not be buying gold at these levels. Yep. Do I think it goes higher? Yes, but at the end of the day, it's not the thing to be done. The thing to be doing is to stand back, I missed it, either I shouldn't have bought it, I should have bought it, sorry, yeah. or I should have subscribed faster. Yeah. But at the end of the day, no, it's gone. The horse is bolted. Um, well, another thing, you've spent the last few days working on an Outlook piece. Um, we hope to be releasing that um, as soon as possible. Now, the, the investor reading this, you know, are they expecting some nice, nice buys, some sells? Um, you know, what's this thing look like? Um, well, it, it, I expect it to have a whole lot of things in it. I'm really excited about this Outlook piece. It's going to be to the point. It's going to be very, very short and concise. Not because I'm lazy or I've got bad English, although that's both a bit true at times. Mm. It's the point, I want people to be able to read this and quickly have an idea. Sean thinks this, Sean thinks this, Sean thinks this. So there's going to be lots of buyers there, lots of buy levels, lots of areas and sectors I want to buy the market in. But importantly as well, where and how and when. Yep. So it's all about the overall view of how I see the next year coming forward. Awesome. And one last thing, you've hinted, well, you've talked a lot about this correction. You. Uh, we're we're going to see in the first quarter of 2015. Um, now, obviously, no one rings a bell at the top or the bottom of the market. Um, but what are you seeing there? Um, you, need, you did have a report the other day saying CBA could make new highs before the market starts coming off. Um, what's the updated perspective um, for our subscribers out there? Okay, I think we've got to go back to a report I wrote a few weeks ago when I said tops are the hardest thing to beat. Mm. People want to buy the market. They want to go along. They want to be optimistic, which is great. We all want to be optimistic. So that people constantly try and buy a market that pulls back, it pulls back. We've had about three or four strong V, v drops over the last um, two years. So I'm not surprised this top is evolving slowly but surely. I'm still comfortable. I still think we see a pullback in the next few months of 10 to 15% in the US. I want to be a buyer of that quite aggressively. So risk reward wise, yeah, to me it's intact. I'm being patient. I think we get a pullback. Great. Thanks a lot for that update, Sean. And um, everyone keep their eyes peeled for more regular updates coming in 2015. Thank you.